What's going on guys, actually just come back from London and tomorrow I am on my way to Budapest so for before I go I do want to really get this video out and it's, it's on a topic that I think a lot of uh, like people that start online ventures don't really think about because when I just started out I didn't really think about it myself either and that is building a team around your services and around your own online business like for the, the first time I actually came across the, like the whole concept was when I was doing Joe Soto's local consultant academy course on social media marketing and I think it was like one of the the last modules he talked about like building your team and scaling your business but uh, like it, it was because it was one of the last modules and because you you know you get so much information that you, you don't really think about you know like you just decide to like ignore it for a bit and think to yourself you know I'll cross that bridge when I get to it you know just focus on uh, like getting started first but it's actually such a crucial step into scaling your business and really get things up and running properly and like when i just started social media marketing you know i got my first two clients and i uh, i got the clients myself you know i sent like, a bunch of emails out i told my mates and told anyone like in my direct network that i i wanted to get a client and if they could find me a client then i'll give them like 10 percent commission and uh, so i got the clients myself i like done i closed them myself as well i got the graphics done if you wanted social media management i created the ads if you wanted ads i done the videos if you wanted videos you know i posted for them i done all like the social media management i managed all the social media pages and so much time went into this like I, I, after I had two clients, I just had no more like capacity to take on another client. I couldn't do any more client acquisition because I was so busy, you know, focusing on those two clients that you know like the whole process it, it wasn't scalable. The whole business model, the whole infrastructure, you couldn't expand on it. And looking back, like I wasn't really a business owner in you know in that sense. Like I was more of a, like a virtual assistant for those two companies. You know, they were telling me what to do, and I was I was like going out and doing them i was executing on what they told me to do and it wasn't until i read the four hour work by tim ferris like that book was such an eye-opener like once i read that like for those of you that don't know it's a uh, it's a book on like automation and outsourcing and tim ferris actually um he, he, like he, he as, as the time he spent on his company he halved it but he actually doubled the amount of money he was making and you know uh, at first he was he was so stressed out and he had so much to do and like he was the biggest bottleneck of his own company like all the decisions he had to make and everyone was coming to him and he was all stressed out and then actually started to to automate and outsource a lot of the processes and remove himself as a bottleneck from his company and like everything just ran so much smoother and that book was such an eye-opener just to think in i like, think in processes and see if you can automate or outsource all those processes and I think, uh, like I've studied process optimization in uni, so it's easy for me to see processes and see certain structures in the business. So what I try to do from there is, okay, so like, okay, can I outsource this or automate it in such a way that uh, it doesn't take, like, it doesn't cost me more time, and I can actually get my time back to focus on working like on the business rather than in the business. And why is it so important? Because time is like your most valuable commodity. Like once you spend your time, like once time is spent, you can't get it back. So that is why it's so important that you protect your time, especially as a business owner, or especially when you attempt to like, start your own online business, your time is so valuable and you need to protect it. So the next step for me was to build a team around myself and build a team around Bram Panier. And like I said, I studied process optimization in uni, so it was easy for me to see a certain process and think, okay, you know, how can I outsource this? And when I thought of outsourcing at first, I just thought of like this little like 13 year old kid somewhere in Asia, you know, like typing away for three dollars an hour. But it's actually not that like people that you can find on the internet nowadays, like freelancers, they are so good at what they do. They're so like they're highly trained and highly skilled. And chances are they're probably better at what they do than than you. And for me, that was like I had to overcome that like mental hurdle of uh, thinking that they're going to produce like shitty work. That was another like. When, when I wanted to outsource, I was like, nah, I, I, I wanna I, I want to produce a certain amount of quality and I wanna provide a certain amount of quality for, for like the clients, but like the, the quality that outsourcers can provide you with is insane. So how do you actually find these people to outsource to? Well, it's easy, internet. Like, you know, Instagram, Instagram DM, Instagram stories, you can put like a little uh, like job job post up saying, listen, I'm looking for this, this and this person, you know, send me a DM if you're interested. Uh, you've got freelance websites, you know, Upwork, Fiverr, what else you got? LinkedIn, LinkedIn is a really good one as well because people actually put the job titles 
uh, on the profile. There's so many different ways to find people to help you with your business. Like with the internet, the possibilities are endless. And when finding the right person, like I base uh, or I judge the, like that person on three different factors. The first one being flexibility. So they need to be flexible. They need to be willing to take on quite a big workload. And like say, for example, during the week, I, I add to that workload because a new client's being onboarded. They need to be able to handle that. Also, what really helps on what I go to the Tim Ferriss 4-hour work book as well is get people in different time zones because then when you go to bed, they're actually working because of the time zone difference. And when you wake up in the morning, they'll have their tasks finished and then you can just get on with the day. And it's like, it's like a time hack really, because while you're sleeping, they're working on your business. Next step is communication. So they need to know exactly what you want from them and they need to understand exactly how to do it. So what I done or what I'm in the process of doing is every single time I get someone that's gonna expand the team, I actually film a video of what I'm, so I do it myself first, I film how I do it, and then I show them the video and said, okay, this is exactly how I want it. Chances are they'll probably know it better and even quicker way because they are specializing in whatever I'm outsourcing it, you know, whatever they're doing. But uh, like, that's just a great way to get started and a great way to show them exactly what you expect from them and exactly what they need to do for, for the client to be happy and for you as a business owner to be happy as well. And the last one, like the third fact that I judge uh, the outsourcers on is trust. Like I would rather pay 10 times the amount for someone that I can trust and someone that I know will deliver the results than you know, some random guy that I can't count on for $3 an hour. So guys, that is actually all I've got for today. If you want an in-depth video on like, who I've actually got on my team and which team members are absolutely crucial to have with your online venture, then let me know in the comments down below. Like this video if you got something out of it. Comment, like if you've watched this far, comment in capital letters, team below to win a shout out. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.